Hi everyone, welcome to the class. Today we are going to install repositories and integration services. Okay. Um, so what are we going to do? First, let's go and uh, search for. Go to administrator page. This one. Okay, you can search for it. Will be in this page. The username will be administrator and the password will also be same. Login. So this is the admin page for Informatica Power Center or the whole Informatica actually. Then once you land in this page, click on services and node. Okay. So now if you look at the left side corner, we don't see any integration service or uh, you know or repository right so how do we create it right click on the domain new go to repository service here write a name that is suitable for you i'm gonna write amazon tutorials i am also Gonna write the description. This is not mandatory. This is, um, yes. Repository. Okay. Next location will be you know by default it will be chosen. Next select the license. Select the license would be in order to your system. You just have to select that drop down. And the same goes with the node as well. Click next. Here, there are some components. So, first one database. So, I'm using Oracle. I'm going to use Oracle. If you have anything else like Sybase DB2 or SQL Server, use that one. Okay, now here, username. So, actually, uh, what happens? Uh, this username, we have to create it. Just show you guys uh, let me open the SQL developer just a moment right so usually what happens um, we will not be having a username or password but uh, you can create it you know so how do you create a user i'll tell you create user xyz so and so okay xyz identified right by the password better to keep the same uh, you know user as a password because it's easier for you guys so then hit enter and you will create after that you have to grant an access as well grant db access to the particular user okay then run this then it will be okay i'm not going to create it because i already uh, i already have my you know <clears throat> users in this i'm going to use infa here okay so my username will be infa the password would be appropriate and here i am using express edition so i am using xe so if you are using anything else like uh, something else you can use oracle orcl okay uh, keep the others as it is check mark this okay and then finish it will take some time to create the service okay now it is available right it's not done yet so what we have to do is under property uh, sorry under repository properties it's showing exclusive so we have to change it to normal so click on this and change it to normal keep the other two you know as it is no need to change anything 
click OK. OK. It will restart again. Okay, it's fetching service status in progress now. Okay, so now this is good. Okay, so we have the repository now, but we need to have the integration service as well. So click on again, click on right click on domain new and go to Informatica. Sorry, uh, Power Center integration service. Click on it here you name as it uh, as appropriate for you i'll put is as sorry mm, amazon tutorial okay. so i'll just again you know uh, the second description is not mandatory but i am doing it if you want you can write it this is amazon tutorial integration service okay domain would be again uh, it's chosen default choose the license and node from the adopter go next so here power center repository service choose the one that you have created username and password uh, what you can do is you can use the administrator copy the whole thing paste again i'll keep it data moment mode i'll keep it as ascii then finish and click ok this will also take some time okay let's create it so now when you see this is when we created the integration service it's default disabled so we have to enable it so go here and enable the service I hope it will be a quick one yeah so now we are up and running okay okay so now we have to come back to our repository manager and add the repositories here or configure it okay click on repository add repository here repository name mine was amazon tutorials right okay i have noted down here okay it's amazon tutorials for me and the password username would be administrator right click ok so you got it here right click configure domain click on this domain domain would be domain only okay because if you look at here the domain navigator we have domain only if there is something else you can choose that and write down here okay gateway host since we are running it on our local machine it will be local host okay. gateway port, port would be 6005 for informatica the port would be 6005 and for oracle 1521 okay click on okay all right we have now right so we already configured this that's great so now what we can do we we have to create a folder here one okay before that i have to connect it connect username would be administrator and the password would be administrator again connect if it doesn't connect you won't see this if it connects you will see this okay so since we are seeing this <laughs> that means we are connected okay so now we have to create a folder let's create uh, i am creating a tutorial one tutorials okay my bad i make a lot of typo mistakes all right okay we have created 
the tutorial. That's it for the video.